Hello folks, Jolty another Transformers review, and today we're looking at Transformers The Last Night Premier Edition Scorn. So as you can see, this is an updated version of the Scorn figure we got for Transformers 4, and it's basically Scorn, just bigger and meaner. Here we have the previous Scorn next to the new Scorn. And yeah, he's clearly bigger. Deluxe, Voyager, Teen Scorn, Adult Scorn. I mean, both are, I can tell you right now, are great figures. And there are a lot of similarities to the transformation. But yeah, it's a pretty nice update. The main differences are you have three posable fins instead of just the one static one. Posability, you got little arms on the front, big old legs. A three segmented or technically four segments for a tail head swivels goes up and down although for mine the head does kind of droop so be real careful and you can get it to actually stand up and still look straight well thing I'm not too crazy about is a little grills on the eyes make it more difficult to see but it does offer some protection as if being made of needles wasn't enough big big chomping mouth with a fairly detailed tongue now some issues i do have with this mode is well one thing i like about the original's transformation was the head and tail were basically become the arms Whereas with this figure, the tail becomes an arm, and the other arm is just kind of hanging there on the bottom. Seriously, it's, you're not hiding it, that's an arm. I mean, given the transformation of this one, they, I think they could have easily done the same thing. They could have made this head an arm, and it would have looked pretty darn good. But that's really the only complaint I could think of for this mode. It would have been nice if this was uh, a little bit red rather than just the gray kind of breaks up the whole thing. Also, you got these little panels right here. I have no idea what they do. They just, they lift up, but they contribute nothing to either mode. But hey, speaking of which, let's go and see the transformation here. All right, now to start off, you're going to take the legs here. Take the heel, the dino mode, and pop it up. And then rotate the entire thing forward. And then close that up. Do the same thing for both sides. How I keep forgetting that it's supposed to go up, not down. Put these down. Flip it down. And here we have a long. And here we have a long league scorn. Okay. Now. Are going to unpeg the hips and fold the tail down. Let's get that arm out of the way. Do the same thing for the other. Just kind of bring it down. And unpack the back, fold the whole thing out, pull the head up, or my head, fold this in, and fold that up, and then peg these right in 
to the side. You got a little tab here, a little hole here, goes right in. Okay, so go down to the legs. And just kind of bring them in and peg them right in place. Then we take the arms here, twist them, and fold them back. And they have Scorn in robot mode. And with Scorn in his robot mode, he is definitely a fearsome force to be reckoned with. One thing I do like is that the dinosaur arms are over on the shoulder rather than just kind of dangling between the hips where you have to finagle some way to get them out of the way. So at the very least, it's kibble, but at least this is, well, workable kibble. And again, I gotta point out, the way this whole thing becomes the arm, and the head rests on this, this could have just been a dino arm. This whole head could have just been a dino head arm. That is really the only complaint I could even think of about this figure. Aside from just being a little, well, it's simple, but also a bit, as you saw, finicky. Oh, not, not finicky. Uh, what is the right term for that? Uh, jumbled? I can't think of a better word. I'm sure there is, though. What interesting old feature is the shovel chin. That chin in itself is a weapon. I think he got bit in the face by a radioactive pop star or something like that. He is the Crimson Chin. Now, what I kind of like is, I'm not sure how to feel about this one, is the dino head and spines just become a backpack. So they, I think they blend in nice enough. But again, I really wish we could have had the dino head in the robot mode in some way. Also, the dino toes just kind of sit there. One problem this my figure has at least is very very weak heels, and I don't know how to fix it. Now before I forget, as for posability, swivel on the shoulder, in and out. Tail curls up that much. Yeah, about that much. Get a nice swift motion. Same for the other arm, just. Another swivel. This part is incredibly tight. It is the tightest joint on this figure. Then you got an elbow, a little bit of hand, closing hand, hips, goes out that much, high kick. As far back as it goes, knee about 90 degrees. And a swivel in the foot, or a hinge in the foot. It is on a ball joint, but you can only look left and right. With that chin and this mullet, you don't get much up and down. And another comparison between the original Scorn and the new Scorn. Here you see there are a lot of similarities. You know, keeping the lip arm, keeping these weird mouth hip guard things. Big round shoulders with a bit of spike on them. And of course the fins, which are which are more prominent on the original Scorn than they are on the new Scorn. The new Scorn, of course, unfortunately does not get in the second sword weapon. So difference between the two. Now as for a comparison of the two, while I'm not a fan of the shovel chin as much, the main aesthetic of the head, I kind of like how it Turned out on the Voyager Scorn better than the Deluxe Scorn. Fins. Overall silhouette. This Scorn mainly just had. If you could just if you could put these fins, get this look out of this Scorn, that'd make it all even more terrifying. And I really wish I could have had the Dino Head, maybe the Sword. But most of the dino head on this score. 
I think that might have made the transformation a little easier. Now, you wouldn't have much of a backpack that way, and you would have more room, I guess, to get that more Deluxe Scorn silhouette. Seriously, I just love these fins right here. But at the very least, the Voyager Scorn can wield Deluxe Scorn's sword, which looks more like a dagger for him. That is a butter knife in comparison. And so it is Transformers The Last Night Premier Edition Voyager Class Scorn. That name is a mouthful. I thank folks for watching. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe if you like to see more. And I'll see you folks next time. Oh, oh, oh.